Uh, what up, you dingus? This is definitely not good. The podcast where we create stories, and they're definitely probably not good. I'm your host, CJ, and I'm joined by my producer, Nuckety. Hello! Hey, we have a very special guest today. We have the rapping chef, A-Bomb. What's up, A-Bomb? Hey, how's it going, man? Pleasure to be here. Pleasure to have you. I don't know what this is, but it's definitely not good. Listener, if it's your first time listening, this is pretty much how everything works. We are amazing storytellers. Amazing. And it's our job, our sacred duty, to come up with a story completely from scratch with a little twist. We have a series of wheels we're going to spin, each of them random. And depending on where they land, we have to incorporate it into our story somehow. That's pretty much all she wrote. That's all of it. That's all of it, actually. That's the whole thing. Uh, today, we have a very special guest. We have A-Bomb. A-Bomb, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Um, I know Nuckety likes to start off with a little warm-up, so I'm going to pass the baton over to him. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going, man? Long time. Mr. A-Bomb in the house. Yes. How you doing? Um, uh, to, the, to, the, to the best of your ability, huh? could you, uh, in your best SpongeBob voice, spell diarrhea? Huh. D I. A H R E A. Perfect. That was my way to go. That was perfect. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey. <laughs> okay. Oh man, that wasn't hard enough. <laughs> no, he got it wrong, but it's fine. Oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah, you know, I, was, I was like, man. <laughs> if he said he got it right the first time, then it was good enough, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. I like how quick you were on that warm up. You're just ready for it. Yeah, you know. Last name is Patrick. Had to go with Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. So you're you're a chef also. Like I got to ask what's like your what what's one of your favorite dishes? I I like majority of the time, you know, like pasta is like my go-to. Oh um, yeah. So I'm mean, like I'm a chef, but I consider myself as a chef in training. I don't think that you can know anything, you know, like everything of, you know, different ways of cooking, everything, you know, like, um, different cultures around the world, different countries, all that, like, all that. yeah, it's like, it's, uh, it's chemistry. I was never good in chemistry, but I'm, I'm learning how to, you know, pair certain spices together and everything. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm a, I'm a chef in training. Um, I would say chicken Parmesan. Okay. You yeah. know, it's, mm, I love it's, it's, it's a nice bra. one, you know, with some red sauce or you could do white sauce like Alfredo or something similar. Do you have any favorite things you like about cooking or like favorite techniques that you like to implement? Um, don't really know how to ask, answer that question. Uh, try to do something different, you know, almost every time or yeah, just, uh, just trying to learn, you know, the people I work with. Yeah. They, they have, they have different techniques that, you know, I try to soak in and apply to my own personal life. Yeah. Well, I guess like, let me ask a better one then. Like what, what is your favorite thing about cooking? Seeing people be happy and be quiet when, you know, like I, I feel like when they're quiet, when they're eating, that's the best compliment. Oh, okay. I like yeah. that. I like that. You know, like, like everybody's talking, everybody's like, you know, like with my kids, like daddy, daddy, when we're hungry, when's the food going to be done? Or, you know, like if I have company over, then it's like. Everybody, everybody just gets quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, and then, like, if it, if it's at my house, I like to, depending on who's over, mm-hmm. you know, like play different kind of music just to set the ambience. Yeah, ambiance. Yeah. Ambiance. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Um, have you made a rap song yet about cooking or food? I have a little bit. I've I've spit a couple bars. Okay. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to look you up online after this. I got to find some stuff. That's yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember what song it was. I, I have to go back and yeah, like it, like for one verse, I was just like making metaphors of you know like scoops and ladles and chefing in the kitchen, you know, like mm-hmm. you know stuff that. like that. Yeah. yeah, I see you. I feel like like hip hop and food somehow just works. Yeah, remember the Fat Boys? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I sure do. I stuff. remember that. These these uh skibbity toilet kids don't know about <laughs> no Fat Boys. <laughs> By the way, what the Sigma? <laughs> Get it. You know, I cannot express to you how much my daughter hates it when you do that. <laughs> Just one more time. What the Sigma? Okay, we're going to move she on. She gets so mad. <laughs> do you, are you familiar best. with like the kids, the, the lingos that the kids are saying these days? Uh, I try to keep up with it. What's the one that you're aware of right now? Right now is, uh, I know I know my daughter is just like, man, he's cooked. Mm. You know, like cooked, like, 
you know, like roasted or. I feel like cooked's a good one though. I yeah. like that one. I, I like that one. Uh, have you heard Gat? We're sounding so old right now. In, in, in terms <laughs> have of you a, heard Gat? <laughs> in terms of a gun? Well, okay. As far as I know, I think Gat means like like a fat oh. ass, essentially. Like like oh, I've Gat. Like she's like yeah, damn! Like look at that. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, I've, I've I've heard of that. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I feel like I just I don't know. Like my mom's a school teacher, and um, uh, her students will say like yeah, you know, and they'll be they'll try and lie and be like no, yeah means like you're a good person. It's like no, it doesn't. You're lying. You silly little fuck. You're you're lying. <laughs> you're lying. Um, yeah, no, I don't believe that at all. <laughs> Well, hey, we don't have a sponsor today, but we do have a wheel to spin to choose a random sponsor on a wheel. Yeah. So let's let's spin that wheel. Okay. Spin it! <laughs> okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by spiders! Spiders! Like, like two spiders? Just, no, just one. Just one spider. One spiders. Okay, spiders. Uh, this episode is proudly sponsored by spiders. spiders. Yeah, spiders. How do you feel about spiders? They're cool. They're cool. You're not afraid of them. I mean, if if if, if one of them drops on me, you know, it's just instant, you know, reaction. It's on site. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. like, like, yeah, I play with my kids sometimes. You know, like I'll see a spider, or they they'll start freaking out. You know, and I'm like, hey, that's that's my boy. That's my, you know, that's <laughs> that's that's my partner. Yeah. You know, like they're they're here for a reason. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they kill the flies. You know, they're just chilling. Just leave them alone. Oh yeah, part of nature, right? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, but like like I said, you know, like if if one just just like came down right now and just like landed on my forehead, I'll probably yeah, death. <laughs> yeah, 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 but I've, I've I've had a couple, you know, like they, you know, they they trickle down like right in front of me. I'm like, oh, and then so I get cut off their web, and then I'll just go put them outside or something. Yep, right? yep. Yeah, that's yeah, the way to do it. Yeah. The older I get, the more difficult I find it to kill anything. Mm -hmm. like, it's yeah. so hard for me now. I would do my best to not kill a spider and not like take it somewhere because my family is on site for real. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, and they won't do it. They'll get dad. They'll like, dad, kill it. And I'm like, I no, I'm not gonna kill the why? And they're like, no, kill it! Yeah. Kill it! <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like that's a that's a that's a normality in, you know, like the household. Like, yeah. oh daddy, daddy, you know, like Yeah, no, I'm I'm right there too. Like I, I used to be a freaking genocide, genocidal <laughs> maniac when I was a kid with bugs. I killed yeah. so many bugs. And now that I've gotten older, I just like I also try to not kill them. I give I talk to them sometimes. If they're but if you're not from Washington, you're hearing this, we have giant ass bugs here, guys. No, we don't. Uh <laughs> No, we don't. We have small bugs. Okay, if we're comparing to Australia, sure. No. We, Everywhere else has bigger bugs than No. Us. Yes. No. By a lot. Okay, you got to be a tiger. What, what do you think? We got one big spider, and it, it don't even bite. What, what do you think? Do we have big bugs here? I would agree with Nook. Oh, man. Yeah, all we got well, is the little spider. They don't even do nothing. They're big enough to be scary, okay? I'll say that. Because, <laughs> like, you're, you're, you're playing a game, or you're watching a movie, you look up, and there's a, a spider the size of your hand moving at the speed of light um <laughs> anyways thank you spiders what if what if there is a breed of spider that really does move at the speed of light and we just don't see them it probably, so probably is we, 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 we wouldn't be able to you know that's why every once in a while you just have a bite on you and you're like where the fuck did this come from that would make entirely too much sense yeah, yeah <laughs> i like, agree like they should have found it sooner they're the size of your shoe thank you spiders <laughs> thanks spiders <laughs> wow i remember as a kid growing up watching uh, arachnophobia mm. uh-huh with the, uh, was uh, Jeff Daniels? I don't remember who was in that shit. He was uh, the guy from Dumb and Dumber. Really? Yeah, Jeff Daniels. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah, he played a serious role. Oh, what? Yeah. Arachnophobia, like, that was a, like, I feel like it was like, they're so big that it was just like, oh, come on. You know, like, it was like unrealistic. Yeah. But, it was, but it was, but uh, that was a good movie. That though. fucked people up, man. Yeah. <laughs> My wife is, she can't handle spiders now because of that movie. I will say the thing that I, I can't handle with spiders is freaking spider eggs. Like, like a bunch of spiders coming from an egg. Does it just creep you out? Yeah, it creeps me out a little bit. Ah, yeah. It creeps me out. I I'm, get that. I'm, I'm good. I don't need to see that. I've actually, like, split open, like, the, the, the whole, like, egg sack. Whoa. Sack. Yeah, the sack. Ooh. You know, like, to, like took some, like, like twigs and just, like, spread them apart and just seen them all come out. I'm like, oh, yeah. Curiosity, man. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, fascinating. Like, I've been watching all kind of videos, bro. Oh, man. Uh, thank you, spiders. Thanks, spiders. The more we talk about you, the more we love you. You take care of all the pets for us. Thank you. <sighs> 
Not all of them. <laughs> some of them. <laughs> yeah, some of them are in office right now, but you know, it's, yeah, you know they do their best. Um, well, hey, like I, I do have a couple more questions for you. Like, what, what would you say is like a show or a movie that like really resonates with you? Like, when that that, that you're like, you really like? He says the bear. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Not so, the bear. no. I don't, I don't like watching cooking uh, shows, you know, just because, you know, I, I try watching that show because everybody that I work with, you know, they're like, oh, it's a really good show. And I'd come home from work, you know, I'm exhausted, you know, like all the, I can cuss on here, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Fuck okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, I spent, I spent most of my day with this bullshit, man. Now, mm -hmm. now I'm, I want to relax yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm watching the shit, you know, and I've been in management, you know, like in restaurants. And so like just certain things that I've seen, I'm just like, what the fuck? Man? Like, nah, <laughs> I just spent, I just spent, yeah. This, this it's like is triggering the, watching the bear, the bear pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the most stressful shit I've ever seen. I mean, <laughs> I'm mean, getting so worked up, man. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, uh, besides that, I, I I love comedies. Okay, what are you your, know? what are some comedies you like? Man, I'm uh, just because I watched it recently. I'm Pootie Tang. <laughs> Pootie Tang. <laughs> Pootie Tang. Whoa. Pootie Tang keeps coming up around me for some reason. Really? Yeah, I don't know what's <laughs> going on. Yeah, I, uh, I seen it on my because I, I got YouTube Premium. Yeah. Just because like, I got I love watching music videos. I grew up watching music videos. Yeah. And I don't want to pay for the stupid ass advertisements. You totally, know? totally. I mean, they they still try to sneak them in there nowadays. You mm -hmm, know, like. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I, I I seen it pop up like uh, and watched that. I was like, damn, I, I forgot how you know classic it was. You know, another one was Do the Right Thing. You know, Spike Lee. Mm -hmm. That also popped up on YouTube Premium. I'm like, oh shit. You know, but uh, yeah, growing up, I never watched that movie. You bugging out. What's like a What's a comedy that you don't like? Man, I'm not sure. Can't think of it like a, a specific one right now. Uh, um, Jim Carrey guy? Will Ferrell? Will Ferrell. I would choose him over Jim Carrey. Okay. Really? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Jim Carrey, I mean, like, most of his movies I like. Mm. I just watched The Bad Boys 3 uh, last night. And they, they're on four right now. They're on four right now. Okay. Uh, not sure if it drops yet. I've, I've, I gotta be honest. I only seen Bad Boys two, one and two. I haven't seen three or four yet. I haven't seen four, and I'm reluctant on it because I'm still kind of mad about the whole situation. What's the situation? We will. Oh, yeah. so the slap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's gonna take a while to recover from that. Yeah. Well, he's he's definitely working on it. So because he keeps putting projects he's out right doing now, doing that PR <laughs> that PR tour. But I'm like, man, you may you embarrass me. I don't like that. That shit made me really upset. That was rough. It's ironic because I, me bringing up about Pootie Tang in, you know, like in, in a certain part of that movie, like they're like standing in like this gravel, you know, like on the corner in the slums and stuff. And Pootie Tang slapped Chris Rock. Yeah. And he said, you right. Respect yeah, yeah. the women. What? Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. Because wow. like, they're like, yeah, we're going to go out tonight and see some bitches. <laughs> and then Pootie was just like, Bop. and he was like, you right. Got to respect the women. <laughs> you right. Wow. And so... Yeah, I mean that. that you know, whole... Louis C.K. Louis, Louis C.K. wrote that movie. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I, I, I did see that on the on the credits. That shit is wild. That's, uh... Are you serious? Yes, I'm Louis C.K. wrote that. He said uh, the way the way he came up with it was he just used to talk like Booty when he was when he was a kid. He thought it was cool. Wow. Say so... <laughs> sadate and everything will be okay. <laughs> Shout out Louis C.K. I know out. I know some people are still cancel him, but I, I, yeah, he's I one of my favorites. He's one of my favorites. I'm, I, I am over it. I hope you're over it too. He's hilarious. He's one so fun. He's one of the best comics ever. And we just man. Yeah. He asked permission. I don't get it. What? I'm, I'm, gonna, not, I'm gonna cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it in. Damn it. We're just we're not gonna touch it with a pole. I don't, I don't know. Um. Damn. I did have. Oh yeah. I had another question. Have you always lived in Tacoma? Uh. No. So I was born and raised in uh, Tacoma General, you know, um, lived here up until I was uh, 14. Mm. And then, yeah, uh, my dad and my mom separated and my dad wanted to, my dad had us. I have a younger brother mm. and um, he wanted to go try something new. And so got a hold of his sister, which lived in Topeka, Kansas. Mm. And so I moved down there with him and I was there for a year and a half, you know, like around that general area. Kansas. Yeah, Kansas. Oh, wow. Literally like the middle of the U.S. Dang. Okay. Yeah, it was, uh, I don't know. It was, it was boring. 
but it was hood at the same time. Like, yeah, like really? Yeah, it was like, an like, interesting place. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was thinking like, yeah, it's going to be all country and like, like nothing to do. No, there was, there were some hoods down there. I was surprised. Okay. And then uh, didn't work out, so I came back here, and then that's uh, that's where I met Nuck. Okay. At, at Mount Tahoma. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What's something about Kansas that would surprise people? from your experience or something that people might not know about Kansas. It's not very, uh, multicultural. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not like up here. We're, we're used to a certain amount of, uh, of mixedness uh, yeah. living up here. Cause we That's just got true. everybody up here. You go to other places and this is all segregating this year. Like, fuck what, yeah. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Sorry, I wasn't trying to cut no, you off. No, no, no. I, uh, I was just going to say, like, I, I, my great-grandma um, lived in Idaho, and I went to Idaho one time, and I swear, like, the main things were, like, potatoes, Walgreens, Walmart, and the rodeo. Yeah, they love potatoes and walls. Their potatoes are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> man, this is all that's here? Really? Is, like, it. Did, was it kind of like that, or was it like... I would say, I would say very similar. Okay. You know, a lot of corn down there, you know. It's, Hell it's, yeah, corn. And it's, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's flatlands. Okay. So, I mean, um, if, if they, if they had to drive up you know, Fairbanks around here, they would think they would call it a mountain. Really? Probably. Dang. Okay. Yeah. Shout um, out to the people who uh, who live here who don't understand how good they got it. Also, shout out to Kansas if you're listening. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if anyone from Kansas is listening. Probably not. But hello. Um, <laughs> <That's a good laughs> porn. Well, why don't we get started with this terrible podcast? Okay, Does that sound good to you guys? All right. Sounds good to me. All right. I guess our first wheel is our genre wheel. Genre wheel. So we're going to spin that. Okay. What do we got? Spin! <laughs> Excuse me. Teenage Mutant Ninja Animal. Awesome. You ever watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? That was one of my favorite growing up. That and Beast me Wars. Too. Hey, and Beast Wars? And Beast oh, Wars. Oh, man, that's a throwback. That's Hell great. Yeah, dude. I used to watch Beast Wars to know when to go out for the bus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> you're trying to watch the episode, you're like, oh, 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 oh. I gotta, go. gotta run out there. I think we're going to have to choose different animals for this, but we could have teenage, you know, some kind of animal militia of mm. some sort. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Our next wheel is our setting. setting. Where is this taking place? Probably not New York. So I don't think New York is going to... Nope. No. Probably not. There's enough stuff happening in New York. Yeah, it's always fiction. stuff in New York. Yeah. All the kaijus and shit. Right. Where are we, where are we this time? Uh, I'm sp- <laughs> A monastery. A monastery? I don't know what that is. I think that's kind of just like a big church, isn't it? Church. I think so. Monastery. Let's look up the definition of monastery. Yeah, let's let's do that. Monas. A Greek word. A place to live alone. A Monk, re- um, <laughs> monks and nuns go to a monastery to focus on their religion and isolation. Oh, okay. You know, that kind of makes sense for this. Because, like, if you're, um, like, a hybrid animal freak of nature thing then maybe you probably would want to be in a monastery yeah that's or where they the go sewer. to train maybe yeah, yeah exactly okay they're so they're, they're they're out the sewers yeah, 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 they're, yeah. They're, they're, in the, they're monks actually and they're bald too you they're, know so yeah hey bald heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. bald heads united bald gang oh you guys are just gonna leave me out okay yeah that's you gotta get bald hey, man you, know, hey. <laughs> you got too much luscious beautiful hair to it's join. coming I'm off sorry. in 22 days <laughs> 22 days, this shit is gone. Why, why are you cutting your hair? Uh, it's a tradition of mine that whenever I have a child, I let it grow until their first birthday, and then I cut it off. And, and you do that why? Uh, because I'm a weirdo. Mm. Mm-hmm. You want to Weird. You want to Weird. change up your... Weird. You want your kid to be scarred and scared. Yeah, yeah. I want them to not recognize me for a while. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. That's that's good parenting right there. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, <laughs> well, uh, my first daughter, you know, when she was like, I want to say around one, she was like, you know, crawling and walking. Yeah. And then like I, I shaved my head and then I, was, I used to always wear a beanie, you know. And you sure did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah, I, and I, I still do sometimes, you know, but with this weather, nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta let the baldness flow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, shaved my head this one time and then like I'm somewhere I got it on video and then like she was like crawling up to me and then I just, I was like, ah, and she was like, <laughs> she like she like couldn't handle the sure. yeah. change. Yeah, dang. She said, "Wait, wait, 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 wait! Ain't no such thing as halfway crooks." <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Mob D. Shout out. Our next wheel is our character job. What Give is the job of these animal hybrid people? 
teenagers. Let's let's spin it. Okay, spin it. <laughs> Writers. Okay. Yeah. Writers? Writers. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe these are reptiles. Reptiles? You, know? you want to stick with reptiles? Maybe. I mean, like, you know, they don't, they don't, they're not turtles, but they can be a different kind of reptile, like a like freaking iguanas or something. <laughs> Teenage mutant ninja iguanas. Iguanas. Are, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> iguanas are fun. I just feel like reptile, fun, like reptiles would be writers for some reason. That's what you feel? <laughs> That's how I feel, damn it. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to pander to the reptilian overlords or something. I don't know who's listening. Uh, anyways, our next wheel is our character. Ja- no, character flaw. Character flaw. What is wrong with this writer? These writers. Body shame. Oh, that's that's, uh, that's touching your nerve for these hybrid animal teenagers. They're ashamed of their bodies. I mean, if you're living on Earth, it kind of makes sense, are right? They just, are, are they just upset that they're animals? Or? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think we can work with that. Our next wheel, our second to last wheel, is our antagonist. The antagonist. Main bad person of the story. Shredder. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dave from work. No way. <laughs> Dave, really? Dave from work. Okay, okay. Uh, anything screaming out to you from this, from these wheel spins? I'm gonna, I'm gonna recap real quick. We have teenage mutant ninja somethings. Mm-hmm. They're living in a monastery, or like the setting is a monastery. They're writers. They have some body shaming issues going on. Right, right, correct. And uh, Dave from work is their kind of their main problem, the main person who's think, making problems for them. I think. Uh, Maybe their best friend May has a job, and it's it's her her coworker. Oh, okay, you mean? Yeah, yeah. You mean? I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. There's May, a May, oh May o, o, O'Sullivan. May O'Sullivan. Mm. May Mayo. O'Sullivan. Mayo. Mayo. Ah, <laughs> okay. So if we're going with food themes, we got we got these teenage mutant ninja reptilians need to. Well, first of all, we got to come up with with what they are. So the repti- the reptiles, the writers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So like teenage mutant reptilian writers union. I, <laughs> I thought they were ninjas. Okay, they're ninjas. They're ninjas. They're ninjas. I yeah, like ninjas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 named uh, 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 Hem- Hemingway. Uh, 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 wait, wait. We got to name after foods. What's what's your what's a like? Are you more of a starch guy or 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 like a salty or like a sweets guy? I'll go with salty. Salty? Yeah, salty. like 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 vinegar, like pickles and stuff. Ooh. Okay. So we'll call. It, so like, if you don't mind, we'll have you play the main character today, and we'll we'll call you a pickle. Okay. Um, pickle. Um, what's mm. like your weapon of choice? Right off the head, I'm thinking of pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Yeah. So like some a laser gun. <laughs> we can go with that. Okay. <laughs> He's got laser guns, man. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Um, what about you, Nuck? Uh, 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 we're, we're going food. Mm-hmm. Uh, b- b- baloney. 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 His weapon of choice. His weapon. Uh, weapon of choice would be a uh, uh, taxidermy cat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> taxidermy cat. Uh-huh. Um, my name's Toast, and I fight with um, my feet. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> opening what are scene. We? Are, we, are we iguanas? <laughs> yeah, we're iguanas. Uh, ninja iguanas? Uh, unless we got any other animals we want to. We could all be different animals. I was thinking like a bat. A bat? Bats. Okay. Ooh. So, Pickle is a bat. Oh, yeah, we're all bats. Yeah, I like bats. Pickle the bat. Um, Baloney? Baloney the bat, and I'm Toast the bat. Mm, okay, Teenage Mutant so, Ninja Bats. So, opening scene, we're at the monastery. It's late at night. We got some night lights going on though. We're all hanging from the ceilings of the monastery because we're so tired. We're zooming in and we're writing. Uh, we're writing um, the next season of King of the Hill. <laughs> <laughs> we're up in the we're up in the belfry. Pickle, what do you got for the next episode, man? Uh, it's kind of it's kind of weird to reboot a series that's been gone for so long. Like, what is Bobby older? What do you, what do you think? Yeah, we can go with that. Yeah. 
Okay. And what, what baloney, what are you doing? You're not even playing like you're, huh? you're, you're you're not even writing. You're what? playing Switch right now. What are you what are you doing? Oh, hey, hang on. Hang on. I'm I'm online. I'm, I'm on Smash right now online. I'm getting my ass kicked. Fuck! 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 Get back in there. Dude, you're not even elite Smash yet. You're just still... <laughs> Shut up, dude. I'm trying to... I'm doing stuff. You're playing as Rob. You're not going to get very far. <laughs> you motherfucker. <sighs> God damn it. So suddenly, um, you hear, How is the writing going, my students? You look down, and it is a... A rabbit, a life's a human-sized rabbit who's very old, dressed in bat in a bathrobe. Master Sliver, <laughs> Master Sliver. Uh, sorry, if we if we fly down. Master Sliver, we're still we're still working on the King of the Hill reboot. We don't really have a lot to go off of. Oh, that's okay. Uh, Pickle, I need to speak with you privately, if you don't mind. Ooh. Pickle. That's that's you, correct? Yes. Pickle. Oh, that's right. Pickle can only say pickle. <laughs> Forgot about that. Unless you tickle him, boys. Tickle attack! <laughs> tickle attack! <laughs> they tickle with their feet. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling now, Pickle? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. All I'm right. Here. Let's speak in the... That's what the fuck I thought. <laughs> let's speak in the chambers where no one can hear us. Oh, come on. I want to hear what's going on. You I want to hear him be in trouble. You expect us to write King of the Hill season, next season? This is bullshit. But now, now. We won't, we won't be gone for too long. Come. Pickle. They make their way to the, the chambers. And we cut to them. It's been some time. They're having some tea, you know... What kind of tea are they drinking? What, what do you think in pickle drinks? Sobe. <laughs> Sobe, like green tea? Yeah. Sobe, life water. <laughs> Daiquiri. <laughs> Here's your Sobe pickle. Puts it in a, in a glass jar. I know you liked it in the those Sobe's in the glass jars, but we don't have that anymore. I think they got rid of it. Pickled Sobe. Oh, you like the pickle in it? He puts a pickle inside. Sobe pickle. Pickle, I've noticed something. I noticed that you're more mature than the others. Pickle. Well, you, you, yes, yes, pickle indeed. Yeah, pickle. <laughs> and I, these these other two, toast and baloney, they need a leader, and I can think of nothing else, no one else but you, pickle. Pickle, indeed. Which is why I will be making you the leader of the teenage mutant ninja bats. Pickle bats. Great. They're excellent. <laughs> Change the names. Um, we do have one problem. There is a Snoopy. Uh, there is a journalist snooping around. Her name is May O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan. Mayo for short. We call her Mayo. Yeah. And she seems to be snooping around. In fact, oh, some light in the windows. I think she's here now. Would you mind confronting her and dealing with this pickle? Pickle. I leave the rest to you. He falls asleep as he's standing. <laughs> <laughs> What was he, a rabbit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Pickle exits his chambers, and uh, Toast and Toast and Baloney are playing, like, feet fight with each other. Motherfucker. <laughs> you fight fucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'll scratch your fucking eyes out, fucker. Uh, had the beady go, Pickle. Yeah, dad's special little guy. Pickle no like mayo. Who's mayo? Wait, you mean Mayo Sullivan? Oh, it's that that freaking hot reporter that keeps coming by, right? Oh my God, she's such a babe, dude. dude like she wears that like skin tight, like all onesie for some reason. Oof, it's kind of cool, kind of you know. I just want to say I call dibs, you know. No, dude, that's all me. That's no, all me. Toast dude. calls first. Toast, you guys can leave me a toast for toast. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when we get married, that's bullshit, man. My baloney has a first name, and it's Miss. Mr. Mayo Sullivan's husband. That was terrible. Shut you should, up, you should, you. You should. <laughs> This is why we're not we're not making any progress on the King of the Hill reboot. This oh, is this fuck. is why. It, uh, Do you just say things, Baloney. I forgot we were even doing that, man. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> this is why it hasn't happened. It's the whole thing, the contract's fallen to us, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Bats, and we've been sitting here for twenty years. <laughs> Not making any <laughs> progress on it. The show was never canceled. This is just on hiatus because we're right. Yeah, they're weird, man. Anyways, so what are, what are we doing? Is, is Mayo here? Uh, She's walking up. You hear a knock, knock, knock on the large cathedral monastery doors. Uh, who is it? Uh, would you mind playing Mayo? Okay. Um, uh, it's me, May. M Mayo? Yeah, that's oh, me. Okay. 
Mayo Sullivan? Yeah, that's my name. The primetime journalist? Uh-huh. I'm here to do an interview or something. Okay, well, you're not going to freak out if you find, like, giant human-sized bats or anything, are you? Uh, I don't know why you would say that, but I, I, I guess not. I think it's cool. Okay, we should probably, like, put on a mask or something. <laughs> Pickle, what, what, what are we supposed to do? Where's the, where's Master Silver? Sliver, or whatever his name is. I'm... In the dungeon. In the dungeon? All right, I'm going to go to the dungeon. I guess, Pickle, you, you, you handle it if, if she tries to get in, all right? I'm, I'm out of here. Pickle. He flies away. So now it's just, uh, you hear more knocking. Um, is somebody going to open the door for me? I'm out here. It's cold. I think I stepped in something wet. Hey, I didn't find any masks, but I did find some we- some cool weapons. Uh, I found your laser arms, uh, Pickle, and, and Baloney. I found, um, I couldn't find a cat, but I did find this really large, um, I think, Baloney. I think it's a large sl- slice of Baloney. Hey, man, oh, hold sweet. on a second. We're talking, okay? We'll be right there. <laughs> I don't have any pants on, dude. I'll be right there. Uh, Pickle, I think you should talk to her. I, I don't, I'm not really good with talking. I think you're probably more mature and, and can handle it. So, um, all right. Yeah, yeah. Our, our representative will be right there. Um, and we'll just, you know, um, here's like a bow tie. It'll make you look more fancy. Pickle, thank you. That's a fancy bow tie, dude. So we we cut to uh, Mayo's uh, point of view and the door just slightly opens and we see Pickle kind of peek out you can't it, he's like really like covered in dark so you can't really tell that he's a bat person shrouded but you in see darkness. enough to see like the bow and like kind of like a suit <laughs> in a bat face <laughs> you came to see pickle um yeah um I'm, I'm here to i'm here to meet with pickle yes me that's you you're pickle okay um can i can i come in or should we should we do this out here you may come in Okay, cool, cool. Uh, let me just let me just grab my uh, my camera and uh, my microphone, and I'll be I'll be right there. So she she walks off to her little van, but it's like really far because the the driveway is like hundred feet, and, she has, and there's there's nowhere to park, so she had to walk all the way back to the van. Dang! And they just they just stand there and wait. Dang! Uh, in the van is freaking Dave, like the biggest freaking hairiest dude you've seen. Man, this guy is a World of Warcraft champion. Uh, he's got like 25 alt accounts. Um, no hair but a ponytail. He makes mods for other games. Like, you know those really elaborate mods that you're like, who has time to make these? Right, right, it's right. Dave. SpongeBob as a Grand, Grand Theft Auto guy. Right, right. Oh, man, what's going on? Like, where, where are they at, man? Where where are the where are the bats at? Um, they just opened the door and let me in. So I'm I'm just grabbing the equipment. Do you want to come do your fucking job or? Oh oh, Le- <laughs> Tone, Tone. Hello, uh, I'm your camera guy. You can't talk to me that way. Tone turns around. He's a driver. He's like, what? You calling me? Not you, Tone. Oh oh. Okay. I mean her tone. Uh, okay. Her tone. Is... I was just I was just over here playing. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 were you, what were you playing? What, was, were you... Was, what? Oh, I was just playing there's a Tetris on my phone. You're playing Tetris, that old ancient. This guy doesn't know. Yeah, games. man, it's, it's, it's a cool this new version doesn't... of Tetris on my phone. Man. Tone, just keep playing Tetris. <laughs> Whatever. Listen, Mayo. There's bats in that in that monastery, and I swear to God, they're the reason there hasn't been a King of the Hill reboot. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm cooked. Like it's been 20 years. Uh, Mike Judge keeps keeps saying that he's gonna do it, but Mike Judge gave a contract to a guy named Master Sylvia or Sliver, and we all found out he was a bunny rabbit hybrid, and he contracted out his bats to do the bidding of writing this, and it, it hasn't happened so. And now I'm here, and we're going to uncover this story, right? Right? You're not going to fall in love with one of them, right? Dave, f- fuck you, okay? <laughs> I don't have time for your shit. All right, whatever. I'm just going to sit here and play World of Warcraft because oh. it's the best game ever. Okay, well, give me What's the fucking... all that loud commotion outside? Pickle no light. Oh, it's one, one of them's here. Holy shit. All right, all right, I'm not... People can't see me. I'm not dressed well. You, you just handle it, man. He slides the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> um, why are you wearing that big cloak? Makes Pickle feel comfortable. 
Oh, okay. He kind of he kind of looks cool. Like he has like that Batman animated Batman cloak, and he has like this large hat that kind of like obscures his face to be able to like tell that he's like not a human. Just mm-hmm. enough to like he's kind of ethereal. Right, right. Weird looking tr- dude. trench coat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those are interesting shoes. They look like claws or whatever. Pickles feet. Oh, th- oh. Those are your ew, okay. Um. Maybe think about a manicure. Uh, let, 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 let's go inside. Pedicure. Let's go inside and uh, do this little interview. I, I, I got this tripod since Dave doesn't want to do his fucking job. So, uh, I can hear you. Fuck you, Dave. Fuck you. <laughs> so she, she attaches the camera to the tripod and they, they start walking inside. Nice. We're going to take a short little break and get right back to this exhilarating, awesome, amazing story. Exhilaration. Don't go anywhere. <sighs> Cut. Hey, do you like t-shirts? Maybe hats? Well, I got good news for you. The merch store is open. Come check us out at linktree.com slash dngpod. Click the merch link and get yourself a definitely not good shirt or a definitely not good hat. And for a limited time, grab yourself a I Am The Water Goblin t-shirt. This is in the limited stock and won't be there forever. Thank you for supporting us. And now let's get back to some definitely not good. Hey guys, we're back. Hi. And we have another sponsor. Another one. I, I guess. <laughs> Let's spin it. Today's episode is brought to you by Steampunk. This episode is proudly sponsored by Steampunk. Um, you know, it doesn't actually exist, but <laughs> we like to pretend it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just like our sponsors. But uh, steampunk in particular, I think, is like a pretty cool concept. Yeah, I like it uh, aesthetically. It's pretty neat looking. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. What do, what do you think about like steam steampunk? Do you, are you familiar with steampunk? I'm a little familiar. Uh, I know that one of my roommates that I was roomating with when Little Big Planet came out. Oh yeah. He would uh, he would design his own you know like worlds you know like like levels. Yeah. And he was definitely into steampunk. Okay. Into yeah. Steampunk world. Do you yeah. think steampunk is achievable? Like we could actually make things work with steampunk? At this point, I, I feel like <laughs> anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is steampunk technically sci-fi? Uh, it's like sci-fi adjacent. It's I like because like... there's like different kinds of punk. There's like solar punk, right? Cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right, right. So I think it's possible. It's just like, not... what's, your, what's your favorite instance of steampunk? I like uh, Wow Wow West. Oh yeah, that was fun. I feel like I don't. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> like, I, what? Are, what are instances? I feel like it's kind of a rare thing. Like, there's Wild Wild West, Bioshock, Bioshock. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? That's uh, those are the only two pieces of media: Bioshock and, and Wild West. No, honestly. there's a there's a, what's that game called? There's a game where you're like a vampire hunter. It's steampunk. It's on Game Pass right now. Shout out to Game Pass. Oh. What is the what what is the like accurate definition of steampunk? Because I I to be honest, I don't really know. I I'm gonna be honest, I'm the same. I think it's just steam powered like technology somehow. Like okay. right? Am I right in yeah. saying that? Yeah. yeah. I mean Wow Wow West. <laughs> and, uh, and okay, and then yeah, I would I would agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I would just, agree with it's, uh, it's more of an aesthetic thing, right? Yeah. And it's like cogs and people with top hats with goggles on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And gears that are moving somehow. Yeah. And compressing air. It's fucking rad. It's pretty cool. Thank you, Steampunk. Thank you, Steampunk. You're you're steaming up the room. You're doing your <laughs> steamy thing, dog. This is definitely not good. Thank you, Steampunk. <laughs> um. Hey. So I understand you were uh you were in band. And yes. you you made it pretty far into it. Like, how, well, tell us your your journey. Like, what what happened? What what instrument were you playing? It's actually a you know, pretty funny story. Oh, now, you know, I grew I like up funny stories. Yeah, <laughs> no, like I, I grew up. I music is like my life. Yeah, you know, and um, so when I got to Mount Tahoma, I ended up being in band, and I I never played an instrument besides like the um, the recorder mm. in like fifth grade. But yeah, I, I didn't know how to read any notes. And so something happened with, uh, you know, like uh, picking classes for everybody, Yeah. you know, like all the students. And so I ended up being in band and I like, that's when we have block schedules. So one day, one, three, five, seven, next day, two, four, six, eight. And, you know, like mm-hmm. you guys were there. And then so I was in band every day, whether it was like second period or like 
third period, whatever. And so I was like, I don't even know how to play an instrument. So like I tried to request to change a class. Yeah. And then so the late Mr. Myers, you know, one of the best people that came into my life, you know, you know, I'm, I'm new in this class and he, he didn't know me. And I was like, Hey, I, I don't know how to play anything. I was like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm waiting for my, my trade off, you know, like to another class. Yeah. And then he just told me, he was like, well, while you're, while you're waiting, you're going to do something in this class. Mm. So the first thing he did, he was just like, pick up those symbols. Hey, you know, Mr. Myers had that rasping voice, you know. <laughs> yep, yep. Boy, go pick up them symbols, you know, like, like. <laughs> and I was like, all right. And so they showed me how to, like, do the crash. And then so, yeah, one day the, the bass drummer wasn't there. Scotty, remember Scotty? Nope. With the glasses, spiked his hair. I don't remember nobody. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. It was 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, he wasn't there one day. Mm. And so Mr. Myers was like, can you, can, can you keep a beat? And I was like, I think so. And then so we were doing warm ups, and I was just hitting the drum. And he's all right. Now you're on bass drum. Oh, that was it. Yeah, progression. And then I, I was in that class for like the next three years or next two years because it was sophomore year. And then uh, yeah, I moved up. Still don't know how to read like music, mm -hmm. but I, I get the gist of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. just not like the chords, you know, like the. The notes, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't understand the concept of the notes in like percussion. Like, I don't get that. I don't get how that works at all. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, yeah, it's not like like playing an instrument, you know, like yeah. uh, like violin or something like that. But yeah. So did you like find your stride with like the bass drum? Like, did you how how much did you like really get into it? I did, and so I was doing bass, and then uh, over the time. I was like, hey, I, I want to play snare. And then one one time, like, I, I did the, the Quins. Mm. And so, like I said, it was it was mainly concert and, you know, like, for the games. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, marching band. Oh, right, right. Yeah, so that's that's what I was doing. And, yeah, I got I got nominated to be the president. And then they selected me, and I was like, okay. Yo. And I was like, that's, uh, no, yeah, and we were doing, um, we were doing drumline. Oh, like actually, like the drum line you'd see, yes. like in the okay, yes, dang, and that was right around the time when the movie with Nick Cannon came out. Okay, yeah, people were obsessed yeah. with that. That's shit. fire. Oh yeah, many. <laughs> like, like, yeah, that was right. That was right, right there. Dang. And then so I, I, I fell in love with that. So you're you're like legit doing like some of the same moves they're doing too, because they're they're going crazy in that movie too. Yes. Dang. Yeah, like like it's the best side, thing Nick Cannon ever did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. Uh, what's like the hardest thing about doing marching band drum? Cause I, I feel like my arms would get drums are like the one instrument for me that I, 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 I'm a bit intimidated with because it's like, I feel like the endurance needed and the concentration's like astronomical, um, compared to other instruments. So just personally. Yeah. I mean, uh, I can't really speak on, you know, like any other instruments, you mm -hmm. know, like, like putting myself in your shoes, mm -hmm. you know, because I don't know how to play guitar, piano. I wish I wish I did. But you're able to keep a rhythm with the drums, though. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. That's impressive. It's been, it's been a long time, like you said, like 20 years. <laughs> yeah, 20 years. <laughs> but yeah, no. I, uh, you ever gonna pick up the drum line again? You gonna pick up the drums? I I would like to. Okay. Yeah, I would like okay. to. I, I was was never good at playing the dr like the drum set. Mm, okay, yeah, that's hard. That's hard too. Yeah, yeah. like like just because you got. Each one of your limbs has a different rhythm. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, gotta can, be I, can, a I can't do that. Yeah, I, I'm always impressed with that. Like drummers, man, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I could I could probably do like a, yeah. you know, like like, <laughs> yeah. but that's it. Like all the and then like, yeah, it's wild. Yeah, those motherfuckers be getting down. Mm -hmm. Not for real. Nuckety, what's your favorite instrument? Ooh, uh, mm, mm. Uh, I like versatility, so I'm gonna say piano. P piano? Uh huh. Piano? Yeah, because you can you can just hook a MIDI board up to anything and it'll piano? make any sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paella? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I freaking love the piano. I think my I, I think mine is is the bass. Like the bass? Yeah. Guitar? Bass guitar. Yeah. Like stand up or both? Oh shit! Like uh, my one of my. Um, What's it called? Bucket list items is I want to play bass on a uh, bossa nova uh, band. Okay. I just like I see it. Me, wrinkly skin, old, barely alive, <laughs> playing the bass. That's what I want. Have you seen Soul? Yeah. Oof. Have you seen that shit? The animated one? Yeah. Oh, that's a good movie. Oh boy. Ugh. 
That really hit me in the in the feelings. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, man. <laughs> that was a good movie. Yeah, it was a good movie. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's what you made me think of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> playing, <laughs> playing the jazz band. <laughs> I don't get um, upright bass because like there's no I don't I don't understand fretless inf- instruments. Like, mm-hmm. How do you how do you play that shit? I feel like it's all like um, I used to play cello in school. Ridiculous! I don't know. I don't understand it. I think it's muscle memory. It's all muscle. That's just too like much. Getting used to it, and it sucks when you grow when you're growing too, because then you just you kind of lose where on the fret you are. Yeah, uh, that's one that. Just stands upright. Yeah, it stands upright, and you you play with a bow. Um, yeah, and uh, the double bass is the one where you're literally standing up with it, and it's, just, it's that classic like boom, 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 boom sounds exactly like that. I'm sure. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> well, wow. I, thought, I thought you were playing on it. Oh, yeah, kind that's of crazy. my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's get let's let's finish up this engaging story, shall we? It's so engaging. Where we last left off, okay? Teenage Mutant Ninja Bats, also writers are tasked in a, at a monastery to write the remainder of King of the Hill or the next season. Um, unfortunately, they're a bit discombobulated. They're having some issues, and Piccolo has just been nominated to be the leader of this writing group mm-hmm. slash ninjas. Mm-hmm. Correct. Uh, meanwhile, Mayo is a reporter, kind of hot. Super hot. She's uh, she's trying to get to the bottom of, of this whole escapade, what's going on. Uh, meanwhile, Dave is kind of like a camera guy who's not actually using the camera um, is trying to make things stir up some trouble and make things bad. He really wants this King of the Hill episode to happen, uh, but it has not happened for 20 years. (laughs) We like to throw a wrench in our already broken story. So we're going to spin one last wheel. It's the topic wheel. Okay. Topic wheel. Let's spin it. (laughs) Cardboard box. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're going to cut to um, uh, Toast. He's springing out of a cardboard box, and he's like, ha this is my little, this is my little uh, castle right here. This is mine. This is mine. You can't touch it, baloney. It's mine. Oh, this is yours, dude? It's mine, dude. It's mine. Oh, so you would be pretty upset if I fucking kicked it over. Hey, it what are over. you doing, dude? You little piece mine. of shit. You little motherfucker. Holy sh- Wait, I feel like we should be doing something. Oh, yeah. What, what was it? What was it? What was it? Writing. Oh, shit. Pickle, when did you get here? I've been here the whole time. Oh, crap, dude. Pickle, we... Has it been t- 20 years since we got that contract to write King of the Hill? Yes. Oh, man. We really kind of screwed the pooch on yeah, that, I didn't think we? We might have. We might have. We oh, might have. But that go for too long. Are we even teenagers oh, anymore? crap. Is this why I, I have facial hair now? Is that what Has that is? Has time been passing? There's a knock, knock, knock on the door. It's Mayo. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, hello? Um... Pickle let me in. Uh, he told me that there was some other guys back here that I could talk oh, to. Oh, shoot. Uh, we got to get our, our, our disguises on. Quick. Here, he throws it to Baloney, like uh, one of the disguises. <laughs> it's a clown outfit. Why is this a clown outfit, man? I, that's all I got. And I, I have a, I think, Carmen San Diego thing. It's, that's what I got. All right. Uh, hey. Hey. Hi. 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 <clears throat> hey, I don't, why are you changing your voice, what? Baloney? This, why? T- this, this is my voice. What do you mean, dude? So this is this is us. This is pickle. I'm toast. And this is baloney. We're, I'm baloney. We're normal. Pickle. Yes, yes, pickle. We're pickle. we're normal. We're normal. We're normal people who are the who are writers. We're normal human people and live in this monastery. Any questions? Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah, uh, 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 what's it like living in a monastery? Oh, it's great. Yeah, uh, I, I like it a lot. Uh, pickle. Yeah, pickle. You know, pickle actually learned to speak here. Yeah, we, he learned the English language. Yeah, from watching Adult Swim. <laughs> his first word was pickle. Yeah, yeah that, his first word. Isn't that right, pickle? Pickle needs juice to talk. Oh shoot! I didn't get him his juice. You forgot his fucking juice. Uh, I'm, what I'm, are you doing, I, man? You can keep asking questions. I'm gonna go get pickles juice. Get his juice, girl. Yeah. Um. Hey. So what's a what? What? What time you get off? Huh? Uh. After this interview, I'm I'm pretty much done. <laughs> there you go. There's your juice, pickle. What's up, Mayo? What's up, little bitch? Oh shit. Oh yeah. He, he just kind of just kind of loosened up after that juice. Yeah. Hey, some oil in the pipes. Hey, Pickle loves the juice, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. This is some crunk juice. I gave him the wrong juice. You gave him my crunk juice? I mean, you gave him my crunk juice? To the window! 
Oh, I was saving that. Too low. Uh oh, this is this is the wrong juice, guys. A pickle's gonna be a little belligerent. Uh, maybe just ask the questions to me, Mayo. Pickle's gonna be a little, little off the walls. Uh, hey, Mayo, I'll let you. I'll, I'll make you say, hey, yo. Okay. I don't know what he means by that. I don't know what he means by that. Well, hey, Mayo, other... Mayo, I got that yeah, yo, you know. Oh, well, we, we should talk later. Um, what, uh, What's your name? Uh, so my name's Toast. Toast. I, Toast. I'm, I know that. I'm a normal human. I'm not a bat. Mr. Toast. Uh, Yes, a normal human. It says that here in your submission form that you wrote and sent in for some... I, I don't know why you would say that, but... uh, Yeah, I mean, I was trying to be a reporter. It was denied. No one responded to me. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. It's it's fine. Okay. Uh. So and then uh, could you actually come into the light? Uh. This camera is it's kind of dark. I can't really see your face. Oh, I'm I'm allergic to the light. Allergic to the light. In fact, I'm blinded by it. Oh, wow. That's blinded terrible. By light. Exactly what Pickle said. Mm, yes. Okay. Yes. Why is he dancing like that? <laughs> I, I doing the pickle dance, right? He's doing the pickle dance. He needs to do that every once in a while. He's over there doing the pickle. Suddenly, um, in barges, uh. In his, what, what's it called when the people are driving, like, not the wheelchairs, but the, the carts that are in stores? Scooter? Yes, Dave is coming in with a scooter with a camera on top. Man, fuck Dave. Hey, how did you know who I was? Are you one of those n- n- ninja? I, see, I seen your IG. I knew you was pulling up. Oh, Damn. shoot, man. I thought no one knew that. Good thing I got my little sidekick with me. What's your sidekick? He shoots a beam. Just know that. Oh, he, he's threatening me. He's saying he's got a beam gun. Look, man, all he said was that he has that thing on him. I don't know what you're so afraid of. Listen, I know you're bats, and I know you're the reason King of the Hill hasn't hasn't happened. Bats? <clears throat> bats? We're not bats, dude. What? Take off those stupid, what? stupid hats and this, reveal yourself, this bats. Is hat. This is my regular human hair. Uh, I, guys, I think we should just take off our hats. I think the jig is up. What do you What do you think? Uh, Dude, come on. I mean, you're obviously not a clown. <laughs> Fine. I know you like clowning around. I'll take but... off this stupid wig. Okay. And Pickle, uh, you look you look the coolest out of all of us, but I think you should probably lose the hat, too. We gotta, we gotta show off how... We gotta sh- reveal ourselves to the world that we're Teenage Mutant Ninja Bats. Dude, where'd those sunglasses come from? Take those shades off, dude. All right, I got y'all. All right, so they take off their, their gear... And they reveal bat faces. They're large. We're bats. We're, we're bats. I'm bats. a bat motherfucker. Yeah, yeah what he said. Bats. What, what he said. I knew it. I oh. knew it. Bats, you, you're, uh, oh. vampire, you're vampires who are they're leeching off the industry. Whoa, 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 and, and dude! No vampires taking uh, taking good content away from us. I'm a flying it. fox, dude. I don't know where you're getting this vampire shit from. No, no, we're, we're, he's right. We're vampires, but we but the King of the Hill thing. We okay? Can we be honest? We've never seen King of the Hill. We don't know what that is. <laughs> we never no, heard of it. We've no, never heard of it. I don't know how we got this job, man. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. I don't, I don't bang, but I'm looking for the blood, man. Woo. I don't know what you mean by that, man. I just watch anime and hentai sometimes. <laughs> That's maybe a little too much information, but but I I knew you're the reason that King of the What about uh are you recording? Are you I'm recording. Are you recording, Mayo? Uh, were, uh did you charge these fucking batteries, Dave? Dave. Yeah, that was supposed to be tone. No. Tone Dave, drives Dave, you, you charge the batteries, Dave. Dave, you pulled up to the wrong monastery, bro. God damn it. Oh snap. What, what does he pull up the gun as soon as he says that? What, what does he do? No, nah, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it in there for now. Oh, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, my my boy Baloney, you gotta watch out for him. Oh, I got my eyes on him, dude. I got this yeah, big yeah. ass piece of baloney. I'm about to bat him over the fucking head. No, you, you got the taxidermist cat. Oh yeah, yeah. Here's my here's my cat. I was looking all over for this fucking thing. Oh, oh, so you you teenage mutant ninja bats think you can handle me, huh? Well, I mean, I've been training for how old are we now? Well, <laughs> handle this. He snaps his fingers and in come two bodyguards. Yeah, that's right, guys. I hired him off Craigslist. People will do anything for money. Anything. Anything. You're right. You see how big this guy is? You see how big this guy is? I'm just paying him 20 bucks each <laughs> to beat your asses. All right, Toast. You got to hit him with the feet, man. All right. Here we go. He takes his shoes off and he reveals his terrifying talons of feet. He goes, hi yeah. He goes, blah, 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 blah. he does like a bicycle kick on one of the, one of the um, bodyguards. Uh, kind of leaves him, it kind of leaves a, Giant hole in his chest. Um, very oh, he's s- dead. He's dead. He's dead. 
The other bodyguard says, holy shit, I'm getting out of here. It was only $20. He runs away. <laughs> this isn't worth $20. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Come on. How am I supposed to get King of the Hill if my bodyguards are running away? I want to fucking live, dude. All right, I guess I got to do everything myself. He pulls out a gun and he <laughs> aims it for uh, uh, Pickle. I'm going to give you to the count of 10 to renew King of the Hill. To the count of 10. <laughs> or I'm shooting. <laughs> I'm ready for a duel, but you just got to name us a price. And we ain't got to do this. Oh, you want a price, huh? Like Fisher? Yeah, you haven't paid us yet. Oh, I mean, wait, you guys paid us? We we're paid? We're supposed to be paid for this? Wait, hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's scratching his head. I'm, wait, conf wait, wait. I'm confused right now. Did someone, did someone put a com confusion ray on me or something? I don't know, man. I'm over here. I'm just really freaked out right now because there's giant bats talking to me, and I'm still trying to process that. So I can explain everything. Holy shit, a fucking rabbit! The, the rabbit comes out. Hello, everyone. I am Silva. Sylvia. Sliver? Sliver. I'm Master Sliver. <laughs> um, and I was a producer in Hollywood for many years. <laughs> I took the contract for rebooting King of the Hill. I did not pay my children to write it because they never got it finished and they never watched the show. So, oh, that makes sense, dude. Yes. So uh, I, the the responsibility entirely rests on me. Oh, he shoots him right in the chest. <laughs> oh, no, I, I was just going to... He shoots him again. Master, no! They run over and uh, the, the freaking bunny dude is dying. Dad! Uh, I'm sorry I never rebooted King of the Hill. Father! Pickle, you must finish writing the script for King of the Hill. I don't... I've never watched it. It doesn't seem that interesting to me, but <laughs> I think there might be potential for a reboot. I'm not sure. Father, I will live on your legacy. I will watch you from the heavens. I'll offend you, Dad. And make sure you watch King of the Hill. I will watch you as a king on the hill. I love you, Dad. Uh, he dies. Dad, I love you. <laughs> Dad? You son of a bitch! Dad? Toast uh, runs up and he slashes with his hand, uh, the hand holding the gun from Dave. And uh, he goes, ah! And like he gets, like, blood is drawn and the hand falls off. You son of a bitch! Mail, do something! Do something, Mail! Uh, what do you want me to do? Toast lifts him up from his chair. He's like, whoa, 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 I, I don't know, how strong are you? You can lift up like 400 pounds. What the hell? <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah, man. We're, we're pretty strong, man. I don't know what to tell you. You killed our master, you fat fuck. Bitch. <laughs> what do you want to do with him, pickle? I brought my razor. He about to, we about to skin his ass. Ooh, we having skin tonight. No, no! He, yeah. kick, he, kicks, he kicks loose. And uh, surprisingly, because the monastery is on a hill, he rolls away very fast. Oh, dude, why do you have to fall what on the, the hell? hell? I thought we were, dude, he's like, gets away really quick, He's dude. so fast. <laughs> He's just falling and rolling. <laughs> I'll get you, Teenage Ninja Bats, next time! There's no way we're going to catch him. We, we, we just let he's, him really, he's moving fast. Oh. Master died. Master, I love you. I love you, Master. What are we supposed to do now, Pickle? Are we, are we in a bit of a pickle? pickle? <laughs> we're in a bit of a pickle. We got we to gotta, we gotta write this new series. All right. I'm, I'm hunkering down. He puts some glasses on and gets a piece of paper. We're going to reboot this bitch. For, for Master. For Dad. Master Sliver. Right, Baloney? Right, we're gonna do it, dude. We will avenge. Mayo, please close the door. The writer's room is now set. Uh, that means you have to leave. Oh, oh, so, uh, sorry, I, I uh, forgot to leave or and whatever. He, and here's a <laughs> and here's a story for you and your humans. There's a group of bats that live on a mon monastery, and they are the best writers in the world. And they're going to take over the industry and show humans how terrible they are. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they, yeah. Is that on the record? Is it... Yeah, it's on the record. Okay, because I was recording this on my listening device. Good, so but... good. Proof that your humans killed people okay. you know, that are important and we love. Okay, for sure. Okay, yeah. Pickle. Pickle, yeah. Yeah, pickle. High five. Uh, Kawasaki. Kawasaki. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's a thing. 
We did it, guys. We did it. We told a story, kind of. A bomb spits napalm over here. A bomb spits <laughs> napalm. I said, uh, I said pickle in his juice. <laughs> I want the crow juice. I would like this. The hood juice. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank my special guest, uh, A Bomb. Thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate it, man. Um, do you have anywhere people can check you out online or or uh, places you want them to, to go to? Yeah. So I I don't know if anybody's familiar with uh, the website called Bandcamp.com. Oh yeah. Ironically, I was in band and I did go to band camp. Hey, one day. let's go. You know, but nothing happened with no flute. Okay, you know? all right. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, the bus, the bus rides sometimes. You know, like <laughs> going going to you know different different high schools and yeah, the Tacoma Dome where uh, our basketball team went to. You know, for for the uh, for the like the regionals, like the playoffs. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah, I've seen some freaky shit. <laughs> Band camp, but yeah, put a bunch of the hormonal teens in one room and see what happens. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so you can uh, check me out. It's uh, a b o m two five three dot bandcamp dot com. That'll lead you to most of my online stuff. I'm also on SoundCloud dot com slash a bomb a b o m. You can find me on Facebook, IG a b o m s p i t z n a p a l m. A bomb spits napalm. Uh huh. And that's uh yeah, it's pretty much down to how you can find me. Hashtag daddy gang. Hashtag girl dad. Hashtag princess. You know, like I'm a girl dad. I have two daughters. Girl dad. Not girl dad. Doing a damn thing. Hey mom, thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, hey, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate um, you, man. I want to shout out to Nuckety. Huh. Um, you can find him at n u q a d y on Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, yeah, all of that, all of that. Also, check us out at linktree.com slash dngpod. Click the merch link and buy yourself a definitely not good merch item. Yeah, like a something, hat. something or other. Yeah. Also, on your podcast platform of choice, do give us five stars. Helps us out a lot. Yeah, do it. Let's us know you like the bad content so we can keep making it. Don't be a fucking dickhead, you know? I've been cussing a lot in this one. Yeah. Right? Oh, <laughs> lighten up, man. Jeez. We did lose our master. Master yeah, Sliver. Yeah. Rest in peace, Master Sliver. Rest, rest in peace. I mean, he, I love you, Dad. He did take quite a while. Like he, he cut. It's how many shows was contracted under him that didn't get rebooted? At least twenty, right? He moved yeah. to a monastery with it's a bunch a of bats. Well, rest in peace. Rest you know, in he peace. seemed like he seemed pretty chill. I don't know. He was very old though. Yeah, lived a good life. Yeah. Hey, also he, he was on his last Sliver. Yeah. yeah. Yep, Sliver of Life. He also wrote on Seinfeld. <laughs> He was a he was a Seinfeld and a Simpsons writer. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he, he was big in the industry. Everybody loved him. Yeah, that's too bad. Thanks for listening, guys. Check me out at CJ the Wizard on TikTok or don't. Bye. Definitely not good. <laughs>